Hey guys, so today I got a small haul. When I say small haul, it's literally only two things. And I went to Toys R Us the other day to check out if they had the Squishmallows that I wanted. So there are the new My Hero Academia Squishmallows. Um, but I looked online and even for GameStop, GameStop was the first place that I actually saw them at. Like the Deku one and the Shoto one. And then it was like... I don't know, I think GameStop might be selling them for $25 to $30-ish. But anyways, I didn't buy them at the time because I really wanted Bakugo and then I didn't see Bakugo. I actually went to multiple locations to check it out but I didn't see him. And then I looked online and even like with searching Squishmallows or My Hero Academia, I actually didn't see any online. So I'm not too sure why the websites aren't like updated. Also, um, I don't normally shop online, so I'm not too sure how that works for, like, GameStop in general. But, I did go to Toys R Us yesterday, and I found the Bakugo one that I was looking for. Um, I might get the other two later on, it's just that I'm on a budget, so I just bought one for now, because this is the one that I really wanted. So yeah, I'm surprised that they actually made My Hero Academia squishies because, like, squishmallows. I call them squishies, but they're squishmallows. Um, but I'm surprised that they made them because that's not normally what I see when it comes to squishmallows. Like, I see, like, more cutesy stuff like Snoopy and uh, different things, but not anime for the most part, except for Pokemon. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the Pokemons are really popular popular but they're kind of expensive because because i couldn't find like a smaller version of them so yeah this one actually is like a smaller version compared to like the pokemon ones that i saw so yeah but the pokemon ones are were actually quite expensive when they released too so they're like 30 dollars each this um but the ones that gamestop have are slightly bigger and they're like 40 dollars each for the pokemon ones so yeah, so this was $20 Canadian, which is not bad, honestly, for the licensing, like it's a licensed product, so yeah. Um, here's Bakugo, I might get Deku and Shoto later on, but I just got him for now. Um, the tag is super cute, it just has him. I wish they put like information down about the characters, it would have been fun to see like the little captions they have for like because they do have little, like, captions for their actual, like, characters that they make for Squishmallows. So, it's kind of sad they didn't put anything specific for, like, anime characters or the Pokemon characters as well. So, yeah. Most of it is just the squishy fabric. Um, this is, like, basically the same fabric as his body in general. It's just so that way it can stick up and then his eyes are embroidered his mouth is embroidered he has embroidery all over like under his mask and then his hair to outline like the different parts and then also for his uh, neck piece that he wears he wears like this metal neck piece on him so it's super cute and then he looks kind of angry like angry <laughs> um they made his eyes red, which is in theme with his eye color, so yeah. And then, these parts are more, like, the orange parts are, like, fabric material. Same thing as his hair, basically. But then the inner parts are kind of harder, like, felt. I think they may have lined it, like, just put, like, felt on it or something. I don't know how they made it, but... Yeah, it feels more felty here, and then it feels more fabric-y, like regular fabric here. He also has the extra piece for like his mask part as well. And then he has his ears, which is super cute. The only thing that they didn't put on, so that way it matches the Squishmallows, is that he has no hands and no feet. But it's super cute, and I love him. This is the backing. All the details are basically, I guess, like, embedded into the fabric. It is so nice. I love him. And then it does have the authentic, like, My Hero Academia and Crunchyroll. 
It's so weird seeing Crunchyroll on it though because I'm so used to the fact that because I think what is it? Crunchyroll was bought off by Funimation, so they're together now. So every time I see merch, normally I used to see like Funimation for the most part on like a lot of like the merch, but this is the first time I saw Crunchyroll on it. But I haven't been buying a lot of anime merch recently for My Hero Academia, so that's probably why I'm not used to that. But yeah, they're basically owned by the same company now. So cute! But if you do look online for these, I guarantee you, like, I couldn't find any information about them. Like, I've heard about people posting pictures about them, but there's no, like, actual information of where you can buy them, except for Showcase. But Showcase seems to be very expensive, and they tend to double the price of these, so I don't recommend buying from them in terms of, like, Squishmallows or anything in general, if you want something, like... For a good price and then the last thing that i got i got a second plushie it's not a squishmallow but i really wanted it it was a batman i bought this for my d luke pillow so i can put it on him um but yeah i think this may be from like the movie the dark knight movie i'm not too sure like the logos i forget a lot about like the dc hero stuff so yeah but i do like batman it's really cute this one is super soft and squishy it's kind of like a bean you, you can hold it like this um the ears are felt but they're not like scratchy felt so they feel like soft and they don't bother me and so are the feet he does have his hands here i don't know if you guys can see the detailing that well because it's all mainly black and gray but he had his hands here and then he even has his batman symbol and he's smiling which is cute there is a cat there was a catwoman one but i'm not really interested in catwoman at all to be honest um but yeah this was only 118 so one dollar and 18 cents um i don't know the location that i went to seemed to have a lot of stuff on clearance i don't know if that goes for all the toys r us i know toys r us got shut down in u.s but they're still doing good like in canada in general though i feel like they kind of overstock a lot of the old toys so if you're looking for like the older toys they still have a whole bunch like there's a lot of like the old transformers i think now they have like a lot of like the jurassic park and jurassic world toys which i don't feel like a lot of people are in the market for but they do have overstock of a lot of stuff they stopped selling video games though which is kind of sad but at the same time i don't think they can compete with like gamestop and like people buying on from online companies so yeah but that's basically it for this video um it's just these two i would have bought more if i wasn't on a budget but yeah eventually i might get shoto and deku maybe this coming paycheck it depends on like how busy i am because i do have a list of stuff on aliexpress i want to buy too so those actually come first and they're like more big budget items so i need to like pay attention to what i'm spending but yeah this is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed i will be focusing more on art work like for the rest of my videos for the most part just because i feel like that's better <laughs> i know i've been doing back and forth like hauls like tiny hauls and then going to like artwork so let me know what you guys prefer in terms of like video wise like do you prefer the like the haul videos or like the drawing videos honestly though drawing videos is technically my main focus i've just been doing a couple of like haul videos because i get stuff i did order a bunch of stuff though and maybe next month most of them will arrive so you'll see that closer to the end of this maybe this month or so so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video bye